Hello everyone, let's look at this integral here. We are going to use integration by parts to integrate this function. And the reason is that we you can see that it's a product of two types of different functions. One of them is the x, the other one is the exponential function e to the negative two x. And to integrate this one, we cannot just directly integrate this product. We cannot just integrate the x and the e to the negative two x separately and then put the product together. It doesn't work that way. So to reverse the product rule, we would use integration by parts. And we are going to set up a table to do the integration by parts this way. So let's now look at this table. So this table has four columns. The first column is that we are going to alternate in sign. And then you may say, why do we need to alternate the signs here? It's really because of the integration by parts formula. So let me write that down here. So for the integration by parts formula, let me just put it here, which looks like the integral of u times dv. And that's the integral. Actually, let me just change the color for some of them. Okay, so let me let me start over. So we have the integral, and then, and then we have the u. Okay, and then we also have the dv. So that's the integral of u dv. And that's equal to u times v. u times v. And then minus minus the integral of v du. So um, the v is actually this one, right? The v is this color here, and then the du is the green color. So let me explain what's going on. So um, what we have is that we are trying to find this integral. And to find this integral, we actually need to choose a u so that we can have uh, something that we are going to differentiate. And there was also a dv. And that dv is actually something that we got to integrate. I think I, I switched the color right here. So I think the color is not correct here. So let me just do it. Let me just do that. So the u is the du, right? So the du should be, no, the du is actually the, the yellow color. And then the V is actually the green color here. Yes, I have them switch before. Okay, now it works. Yeah, so uh, um, going back to here, we actually have the U column, which is our U, right? The, the, the D column. And then there was the I column, which is our DV. And so I use the same color to just to match them. Then you may say, what about the plus or minus sign, right? That plus or minus sign actually tells you that you are going to alternate the signs right here. That's due to this minus sign that's in front of this whole integral here. What happened is that sometimes we need to do integration by parts multiple times. And we do that, then we need to put a minus sign in front of the whole thing. And then we apply the, the uv minus the integral v the u again. And when you distribute this minus sign, you are going to alternate the signs. So that's why we need to put plus minus plus minus here as we go down this table. Okay, regarding the strategy for choosing a u here, I will talk more about it in another video. But for now, in general, we got to choose a u that's easy for us to differentiate, and hopefully we can get a simple function when we differentiate. What about the i column, the integration column, the dv column? This dv column, we got to choose something that's easy to integrate. And not just that. And hopefully, once we get to, we get the du and then also the, the v, we hope that this integral can be integrated easily. And when we do that, then um, when we get that, then we are going to stop the integration uh, the integration by parts process. Then we can just, just write down the answer. Okay. I will show you how this last column worked because this column is really just for us to keep track of uh, when we, uh, what kind of integrals that we are getting for this integral of VDU. And that will help us decide when we need to stop this process. Okay, so I'll show you how it works. Let's get started on the problem. So first, we are going to put a plus sign under this first column here. And then we are going to choose our u. And to choose the u, we are going to um, let u be x because when we differentiate, that's easy to differentiate. And also, we are going to get something simpler. So let's choose u to be, what is that? That's x, right? So we get the x here. And then um, for the I column, you actually don't need to think too much if you already have chosen the U. It's really because once you've chosen the, the, the U, right, the rest of the stuff must be the DV. And so 
if we chose x to be the u, then e to the negative two x times dx would be the dv. And just for making the calculation simpler, we are not going to put down the dx right here because it can get in the way. Just um, it will just it will just be put here, but then we actually don't need it right for for what the uh, calculation that we are doing. Okay, so I'm just going to put e to the negative two x right here. Okay, um, now you may say, what about the last column? It's up to you whether you want to put the last column right here, but I'm just going to put it right here just to show you what's going on. And what happened is that if you multiply all three entries together, right, in this first row here, you are going to just put that result right here with the integral symbol. And so if I do that, then I'm going to get what? I'm going to get um, the plus sign, right? There was the plus sign, the plus sign, it's just positive one. We can, we don't have to write it. Then we are going to get the integral of x times e to the negative two x dx. You see what's going on here? That's exactly our original integral. Okay, so um, we don't need to worry about this for now. And we just need to look at the second one because that's the, that's the step when we have already done one time at integration by parts, then we actually need to look at that one. But I'm still just putting it here anyway, okay? Okay, so now let's do the second column. We are about to do the integration by parts right now. So the second row, right? I think I said second column, but okay, so it's the second row that we are looking at right now. And we are going to put a minus sign here because as I said before, we are going to alternate the signs, right? And that minus sign, it's from here, from this minus sign of the formula. So we are going to put a minus here. And then what do we get next? The next column is that we are going to differentiate this x, which will give us the one, right? That's the derivative of x. And then what about the third column here? The third column is that we are going to integrate this e to the negative two x. And in that case, we are going to get e to the negative two x. And then you need to multiply by um, the coefficient of this x here because we need to reverse the chain rule. And the reciprocal of this negative two is actually negative one over two. So we are having that as the antiderivative. Now the fourth column, the fourth column again is for us to see whether we are going to get this integral of VDU that's easy for us to integrate. So if we put all this stuff together, you can treat this minus sign as negative one. So I'm going to get negative one times one times negative one half times e to the negative two x. And all together with the integral symbol, we are going to get an integral. Now you may say, where is the minus sign? You see that the negative one times negative one half will give you a positive one half. So we don't need the minus sign anymore. So let me put the one half right here. And then what about um, the one? The one is just the one. And then you get e to the negative two x dx. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we can integrate this function directly because that's just a simple exponential function. And when we get to an uh, integral that's easy to integrate, we can stop. So we don't need to continue with the integration uh, table anymore, okay? So um, we can actually do that calculation right here at the table so that we don't need to worry about it later on, or you can simply just put this down in your um, in your result. It's up to you. And then do, do the integration from there. But I usually would just do the integration here in this table right now, right? And then I all I need to do is to put down the final answer at the end. Okay, so if I'm to do it here, then I would just need to integrate this e to the negative two x. And what do we get here? We are going to get um, one over two and then e to the negative two x. But don't forget that you also need to reverse the chain rule. And actually when we integrate this e to the negative two x, we actually did that in this column. So all I need to do is to copy down this result and then put it right here, which is just negative one half that's in the front. Okay, it's a little bit too small. Let me just rewrite this. So we have one half times negative one over two, and then e to the negative two x. Okay, so that's that. And then all we need to do is to simplify this one. If we simplify, then we are going to get negative one over four e to the negative two x. 
Yeah, so see what's going on here. We have the result for this integral of v to u. Now we can actually start putting down the final answer. How do we put down the final answer? We still just follow this formula right here, but we can actually, we don't even need to see the formula to, to, to put down the answer. We can actually just look at the table. And how do we do that? It's this. So let's put down the equal sign. And then I'm going to do the UV, right? How do we get the UV? It's from here. This is the U. This is the DV, so this is the V. So we have U and the V. And we are going to draw the arrows this way. So let me show you. So we draw the arrow right here. And we draw the arrow here. So as you can see that there are two arrows right here. So it's the UV is actually the positive one times U times uh, V. Then we get the UV. Okay, so let's put that down here. We are going to get the X. And then I'm going to simplify the same time. So um, I left some space right here because I know that I'm going to put down this negative one half in the front. That's the coefficient of this term. Okay, so let's just put that down here. Negative one over two. I need more space for that. So yeah, now it looks better. And then what about the e to the negative 2x? I also need to put that here. And then you may say, what about this integral? It's just this one. So we just put it there because we already did the integration um, right here. So just put down the result, and then we get our final answer. It's negative 1 over 4, then e to the negative 2x. And then, of course, there was a plus c, but yeah, the, the major part, it's just this, the u times the v, and then also the integral of v du, which is already calculated while we were making the table. And then at the end, we get the plus c. Is that okay? It's actually quite simple here. All the work is done in this table here. Sometimes you can run into a more complicated problem, which will require you to do a use up. You can also just do a use up here and then put down the result when we write down the final answer. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. And I will continue to make more videos in the future. And thank you for watching. See you next time.